Yeah, hello, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers. Um, Nigerians, the level of injustice in this country is unbearable, especially coming from government established and approved institutions or organizations. Something happened at Benue State against a young girl. You guys need to see this. This is an open good day. She's fine. She's fine, girl. See how you find now. This young girl do to deserve this madness coming from a vigilante outfit, hunters and vigilante outfit in Benue State. Waiting consigned cutting of hair with insecurity. I believe they were established by the governor of um, Benue State, Utam or Autumn, whatever the name might be, to fight the encroaching Marudas. How did it now translate into this kind of degrading treatment against a young girl? That she bad her hair haircut and sprayed it? How does that pose any form of insecurity? This amounts to the fact that Nigeria, especially the government is highly irresponsible and those who man different public offices or security apparatus abuse that office look at these common hunters illiterates because they are not trained you will get a bunch of illiterates without training you give them guns now they turn it against the very people that they were supposed to protect Something is really, really wrong with us. Why I'm making this video is that because when it was sent to me, I think it happened about two days ago, I thought it would have been the topical issue, the center of discussion among many Nigerians, especially the youths. But they are not talking about that one. They are busy sharing your Yoshia Sokova, second wife, your Yoshia Sokova, second wife. Things that do not really add value to their lives. Look at this young girl. She's been treated this way. Who knows whether you will be the next? Young boys out there on dreadlocks, they will become security threats too. And you will be there. You will not share this video to take justice for this girl. Let me tell you, Nigerians, especially the youths, when you fold your arms and do nothing about injustice being meted against someone, it is just only about a matter of time it will get to you. And that is why I always speak out. That is why I always speak out. Nigerians, speak out for this girl. Make sure Autumn gets to the bottom of this issue so that this girl can get justice. Do you know that this girl can contact disease or sickness through that scissors that is being used on her? Do you know that girl deserves justice? If Autumn, I believe it is iron to become the senator from governorship to senator, but they are not eyeing the welfare of their own people. That is my problem with these people. Please share this video. Let this young girl, I don't know her, I don't even know her name. I just came across the video as sent to me, and I believe the person that sent it to me is for the purpose of putting it out there for people to see and even for the government officials to see. Governor Otton, I believe your people are watching my platform and I believe they will share it until he gets this message. Do something about this. Do something about this. Nigerians will not fold their hands and watch Nigerians be mistreated or maltreated in this manner. They are not abroad. They are not in Asia. They are not in some of those places where they have been treated like slaves and nobody. Not in their homeland. In Bible State. Oh my God.
This is the height of wickedness. Nigerians, if you see this video, please don't ignore it. Share it until this girl gets justice. That is just why I'm making this video. We're just talking about justice, equity, and fairness. In Nigeria, is it possible? Let us go down and do the next one. Drop a comment, let me have your opinion on this. I'm signing out. I'm just a voice. I've done my bit. Please help me share this video. And if you have not subscribed, please hit on the subscription button. I'm signing out. Bye-bye.